I love fashion and it's a huge part of my lifestyle. I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger. The name of my blog is The Coconut List. Grahamstown is like my second home. In terms of parts of Grahamstown that stand out for me, it's almost everywhere. Everywhere I go, everywhere I walk past, I see a new scene for like a lookbook or a photo shoot. The place you live in may be your inspiration, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to live in like an upbeat city for you to be a fashionable person. In relation to fashion, I would say I just wanted to do something different because I grew up with my Malawian family and fashion is not a commodity in Malawi. You know, people are too busy trying to hustle for food and other basic necessities. So I want to expand that. You know, I want, to, I want people to become more fashion conscious. I want people to understand that just because you're interested in clothes and how you look doesn't necessarily make you a shallow person and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not important. There's a deeper meaning behind fashion and that's something I've always wanted to get across. I started my blog three or four years ago. I had just moved to South Africa. I felt like I didn't have any friends. It was a huge culture shock coming here. I started looking at all these YouTubers and vloggers and bloggers and I was like, okay, I really want to do that. I want to be the one taking the pictures or in the pictures. And I actually looked for so many African fashion bloggers and I couldn't really find any. So I was like, okay, I'll be the one. But hopefully I'll just be more internationally recognized. Hopefully I'll be able to um, collaborate with more and more artistic people, more and more creatives. Cause that's for me, one of my main goals. It's like, I wanna work with other people who wanna talk about the same things and communicate the same things. And hopefully I will be helping women learn how to dress for their body and learn how to gain self-confidence. My influences come from so many different places. They come from people like my grandmother, people like my mom. My mom is a fashion designer. On my blog, I started with like being very impersonal and just putting lookbooks, just outfits. And I think one of the ones that got the most um, like hype was something about it. it was like a redneck outfit I was wearing like these small shorts and like a crop top and a plaid shirt and like Timberlands this one time I posted a very personal lifestyle post and it was like talking about strength and inner strength and overcoming obstacles and that actually got way more of a response than any of my looks of my lookbooks or any of my outfit posts for me it's really important that I post what is real thing. So when I talk about lifestyle, I'm talking about that kind of thing. I want people to be able to relate to me because if I'm gonna share the good, why should I not share the bad too?